Hello, I am drunk David Attenborough, and today we examine the life of a Trump. Despite his status as a pest or would-be dictator, Donald Trump showcases his resilience and evolutionary success over many decades, whether it be from mar lago or a cold prison cell. He's a fascinating creature that evokes mixed reactions from people whether they be entomologists or some of the mentally challenged public. Trump's bloodline belongs to the insect order Blattodea. It was discovered by 23andMe, that very scientific website. Surviving and adapting to various environments is the strength of the Trump. Let's take a peek into the life of a typical Trump. Early life. A Trump starts as an egg and a mentally challenged sperm that happens to be fast. Once the egg hatches, a nymph emerges, grows into an adult that resembles a child in psyche. During this stage, they are vulnerable to dictators like Putin or Kim Jong-un. Basically, they are vulnerable to any kind of predator that happens to exist on the world stage. So it is best to avoid giving them too much power for fear of hurting themselves and others. As the Trump nymph matures, they molt, and this causes the orange hair that particularly characterizes a Trump. They are particularly susceptible to flattery in females with large mammary glands. Being nocturnal creatures, a Trump forages for food at night, often securing a late-night snack from an appliance called a refrigerator. They're omnivorous, consuming everything in sight, including decaying matter, food scraps and even KFC. Their scavenging nature often leads them into human habitats where they find ample sources of food and shelter. Reproduction. Trumps never fully mature. However, they do reproduce, unfortunately, they reproduce while emitting specific sounds, grunts and moans, much like people emitted on January 6th and when he was first elected. A female Trump will carry this egg in her Uthaca until it is ready to be spawned. Spawning requires a calm, quiet place and hopefully not a stormy Daniels. Despite their terrible reputation, a Trump plays a crucial role in helping others to feel better about themselves. Things are bad. I lost my whole family in that hurricane and my home, but at least I'm not a Trump. Humans can sometimes be heard to mutter. I am drunk David Attenborough, and for God's sake, pass the scotch.